Every year, the Librarian of Congress appoints a poet laureate consultant in poetry. It aims to raise the nation's appreciation of poetry. Poets like Robert Frost and Rita Dove once held this prestigious position. This fall, Pulitzer Prize-winning poet and Princeton professor, her name is Tracy K. Smith, will begin her tenure as poet laureate. Her work was featured has featured rather a range of themes, including fantasy, escapism, and racial issues. She was selected by Librarian of Congress Carla Hayden. Hayden's responsibilities include presiding over the largest library in the world. The Library of Congress holds more than 164 million items in its collection and adds more than 12,000 each working day. Tracy K. Smith and Carla Hayden join us now for their first appearance together. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Glad to be thrilled by this. <laughs> Real. Definitely. You know? I mean, it's such a great tradition of American literary figures. It's kind of, in some ways, overwhelming to think that the writers that have kind of made me want to to write now have something. I have something in common with them. So, what does it mean other than the honor of the thing uh, for for you in terms of what you will? do with it. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm really excited about um, taking poetry and the conversations about life that poetry fosters to different parts of the country and listening to what people have to say. Carla, is that the role of a poet laureate? Yes, a poet laureate is a wonderful tradition that the Library of Congress has had since 1951. And I have to tell you, though, and we can reveal this on live television, that this was one of the most exciting things being the new Librarian of Congress. Your Paul first Sin, one. By my first mm -hmm. one, Robert Frost, and I researched and I had experts helping me and we were, this was a big announcement, I'm making this call. And I, they even had, I had on extra makeup and they were going to take my photo. Because they were taking your picture. Because <laughs> we were going to tweet this and I called Miss Smith and said, would you have the honor of, of being Librarian of Congress? And there was this silence. Mm -hmm. I said, oh. And she <laughs> said, um, well, uh, can I think about it? And you're <laughs> like, like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> but she really, it was really a reflection, though, of how thoughtful she is and what really spoke to me that she examined things and she really makes mm -hmm. decisions and makes them mm -hmm. relatable. But Tracy, what was going on yeah, on your mind on the other side of that call? Oh, because I most people I... would be going, ah, oh, yes. yeah. Well, I was trying to do that quietly. Yeah. I hope I also said thank you. I, <laughs> I was reeling, you know, mm -hmm. I, I had a certain amount of understandable disbelief. And I also wanted to think about, you know, what, what could I bring to that position? And, you know, what, um, what will it ask of me? I wanted to think about doing a great job promoting something that I love and also... I've got one good idea, which is <laughs> make poetry exciting to young people. Yes. Yeah. I think poetry, in some, I have young children, mm -hmm. and in some ways I really believe that they are born loving exactly. poetry and mm -hmm. metaphor and the imagination, and somewhere along the educational process they sometimes speak, are made frightened of what else the poem might be doing that they're not automatically aware of. But I so many Tracy, times, Tracy, though, people think poetry is difficult or gas boring. And for you, it's not. It's none of those things. Yeah, I think that sometimes knowing you, you're going to have to take a test and answer some set questions um, about a poem can, can have this chilling effect. But when you're just reading mm -hmm. a poem, it's a voice on a page saying, come here, this is real, this has happened, this is how I felt. And it's hard not to feel welcomed into that kind of encounter. And also, um, it's hard not to recognize some aspects of yourself or your own sense of experience there. Tracy, you won the Pulitzer Prize mm -hmm. for Poetry in 2002. And your work, um, your book, Life on Mars, it's been described by critics that it makes people cry. Your, 2012, it's, the book was written in 2011. You won the, the, po the Pulitzer in 2012. It was about, many of the poems were about your father. Floyd William Smith, a black man who grew up in pre-civil rights Alabama and went to work on the Hubble telescope. Yeah. The personal is poetic. I think so. I mean, poetry, um, in that case, those poems allowed me to reimagine my father who had passed away um, and to go back to moments when we were together, when he, he was uh, real and in the world. And the poems closed some of the distance that, you know, death had opened up. I think poems are good at closing all kinds of distance and, and making us um, feel like we have come into contact with something. And that's why good. did you become a poet? I loved what 
poems did is for me as a reader. Even as a child, I loved the sound of language and the sense of um, surprise that poems could inspire, you know. A good poem teaches you to look at the ordinary world and see something completely new within it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that feels like a, a superpower or something. And it also Charlotte. led you to meet the Librarian of Congress. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I met her through her words, and I was one of those students that said, oh, poetry. Mm -hmm. And that's what I wanted to do with the Poet Laureate position and making it available and accessible and relatable to people. So that's been what I've been doing since I was here last, is well, trying to think of ways good job, to connect. Carla. Thank you. Good job. Tracy, you have yeah. a beautiful voice. I love listening to your voice. It's so soothing and melodic. <laughs> Very nice. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. It's great to have you here. And oh. Carla, always good to see you. Always oh, more. We love you. the Library of Congress. Thank oh, you. my goodness. We're doing all kinds of things. So this was the capstone. This thank was you so wonderful. much. Wow. Thank you. Thank you.